In the history of car development, proving grounds have played a crucial role in allowing car makers to validate a car's functionality, performance, and durability. But as we move into a new era of electrification, AI, and self-driving cars, the role of the proving ground is evolving as well. So come along as we peek behind the privacy fence at one test track that's building on the past to keep pace with the future. The American Center for Mobility is located adjacent to Ford's historic B-24 bomber factory at Willow Run Airport near Detroit, Michigan, and on the former site of GM's Ypsilanti transmission plant. The only remnants from that now are a few security posts and wide expanses of cracked pavement. But these reminders of bygone industry are exactly what's helping today's engineers perfect the cars and trucks of tomorrow. Like a typical proving ground, the 500-acre facility includes a two-mile highway loop with exit ramps and road signage, a 700-foot tunnel, simulated urban areas, and six-lane intersections. It's not a pristine environment with bumps, lumps, and weeds everywhere. But that's just how ACM's clients want it. But you know, cracked pavement, potholes, um, faded lane lines, in some cases you want to leave those as they are because that's what people encounter in the real world. And as we soon found out, the testing that takes place here is far from typical. Traditional proving ground is focused on, you know, testing the mechanical paces of a vehicle. So you think about ride and handling, NVH, durability. Uh, ours is uh, designed to test the sensing and situational awareness of a vehicle. You know, what can it see and sense and how does it make decisions, right? In terms of a computer uh, replacing a human driver. So it's less uh, tuned towards, you know, like a high speed oval, nice perfectly paved track. It's really meant to throw challenges at the vehicle sensor. Another ACM specialty is found inside the EV base camp a unique test facility for electric vehicle charging equipment set up through a grant from the federal government's Joint Office of Energy and Transportation. The goal here is to ensure that every EV charger works every time with every kind of car. But it's really a place that you can put a diversity of different uh, DC fast chargers um, and then have a place where the autos and others can come and test against those different fast chargers. So a place that you can check whether the car software talks to the charger software to make sure that they're interoperable. So even though you may have a standard, um, how people code on the vehicle side, how people code on the um, charger side, and then all the variables that come into play in the real world, you know, uh, when the charging happens can cause interoperability issues. Making this all possible is another leftover from the GM transmission plant, an on-site electric substation. And in the world of EV charger testing, power is the key to everything. Why this substation is important to us is, you know, we own the powerhouse that's on the end of it, makes us the utility on property. There's the ability to expand the capacity of that uh, substation to 90 megawatts. And you'll find that a lot of people just don't have idle grid capacity that's sitting around, right? Even at large automotive companies, uh, we've had some of them tell us, hey, we're maxed out on, on power. That power station will allow us to do extreme fast charging, to be able to host very large um, testing events, testing symposiums, where there are, you know, 30 cars being tested at once against 30 different chargers. Every new automotive technology needs to be tested and perfected before hitting the road for real. The research and validation being done here and now at the American Center for Mobility is enabling a safe and efficient driving future for all of us. The MotorWeek app, which includes our latest reviews and feature stories, is now available for mobile devices.